Yo, what is up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. So today I'm gonna break down this Japanese beat right here. Yeah, as you can tell, the drums have a crazy balance to this one. First of all, let me break down the melody. I started with this free VST right here. It's DSK Asian Dreams. And yeah, it's free. It has only a few presets, but they work really nice. I started with the default one. And here is the melody that I came up with. Yeah, as you can tell, I added a few extra notes in the last four bars, so it has more variety to it. Here are the effects I added. First of all, I started with some vinyl, just put it on the 1950 year. Then I added some reverb too, and here is how it sounds with and without the reverb. Yeah, pretty simple, but I had to take down a bit of the reverb because it was messing up with the sound. And then the last thing I added was an EQ just to take down some frequencies that I didn't really like. Now for the second melody, I used the same VST once again. I used the L1 preset and what I did was I pasted the same melody from the beginning. I put it an octave higher and it sounds like this. Okay, so the first effect I added to it was halftime. makes it sound way darker and then I added this reverser VST right here yeah and it blends really nicely with the first melody we had so I used DSK Asian Dreams one last time and I used this preset right here to make something like a counter melody and it goes like this Yeah, to add bounce to the melody, as you can tell, I played with the one third step and yeah, we created some really nice rhythm for this type of melody. And what I added first was a bit of half time. I turned down the mix knob to add some low end to it, but not make it stand out. Then I added some chorus. And the last thing was some Valhalla Supermassive, the Reverb 2000 preset. Works really nice for my tracks. And yeah, that's why I go with it all the time. And here's how it sounds with all this. Yeah, adds a really nice tone to it. So after that, I used a bass sound from Anna 2. It's this one right here. Yeah, and I just added a single note for the intro of, of the beat. Yeah, nothing crazy, but it adds a really nice tone to the intro of the beat. So yeah, right now I'm gonna play the whole melody and then we're gonna go to the drums. Okay, now for the drums, we have a really crazy bounce. First off, let's start with the 808. Yeah, 
yeah it's really nice what i did right here was i added multiple rolls and i increased the velocity of them to add this reverse sound that everyone asks me how i do it and i also added this slide right here to add more to it so yeah the 808 itself is pretty simple but really bouncy at the same time then i played with this open hi-hat right here and it sounds like this Yeah, it's really nice. First of all, one thing I did was lowering the velocity of those small open hat rolls, if you want to call them that way. And I also added variety to the panning of those sounds to add more uniqueness to it. Then we have this classic rim shot right here. Then we have those two hi-hats together. And yeah, that's it for the whole beat. I'm gonna play it at the end. If you found it useful, make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff, like the vid, and yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace.